Okay. If they said thank you or get lost, let it go. If they said well, how much does that equal? Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, you know, it's, it's slow right now. John, John Tabor. This is John Tabor's out there. Mm -hmm. Insulated wall system. Got got 22 homes in your subdivision done, which would be true. Mm -hmm. I got them all. Right. Got we've done 22 houses in your subdivision. This is John Tabor's outfit. It's a little slow right now. John's giving me a couple of installers. I got them out measuring. I'll get one of them by, measure it up, get it back to me. I'll give you a call with some good news. Really lucky. Mm -hmm. It's a step at a time. Mm -hmm. And I had the whole program. That pretty much all you did was siding stuff? You didn't do anything other than that? Well, we did the windows too, but we, we I didn't concentrate on windows. Some people make a lot of windows money on windows, but Tabor can't sell, so he couldn't make any money on windows. The, uh, the gear, I'm, I'm, I'm bouncing around a little bit, the gear that you had, a lot of the gear that you had was real high-end, like REI, mm -hmm. uh, North Face. Real high dollar stuff. Oh yeah. How did uh, how did you come across that kind of stuff? Quality is a necessity. Right, right. And I agree with you 100 percent on that. So what I I came out of my my uh, years on uh, 11th Street mm -hmm. there. I had the three phones, and I had a, I had some good years there. Mm -hmm. I was drinking. Right. But I was successful in hiring new crews of people. Right. I say crew two people. Right. Four times a year. So uh, I, I, I came out money ahead on that, and so what I, the reason one of the reasons though I, I did it is that uh, in the early 90s I started wanting to be a guide and an outfitter, and uh, so I started accumulating you know, buying. Uh, I had a uh, North Face rep. Mm -hmm. Uh, at the time, North Face was, that's the really high end. Right, right, right. right. And let's right. get some of those mountain lights. Those are good jackets. I got three of them. Yeah. Right. I got two in medium and uh, one in large. Those are good jackets. I got, did you see, uh, I got uh, I got four North Face bags. Yeah. And two of them are, and then, uh, uh, well, actually three of them are cast me out. One has a thermostat lining in it. It's a later, and a uh, snowshoe. And the snowshoes uh, are nice. I got a snowshoe. Yeah, it's a good. plus five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two of them were for the dog. Two of the cats me out were for the dog. You carry two for the dog because they're subject to getting wet. They dry in a flash, but yeah. nevertheless. And uh, that's why the girl wasn't cold. She had, she had, you know. I was telling you, she, she didn't. She was cooperating with me. But that wasn't that wasn't some kind of to get the REI stuff and to get the North Face stuff. That wasn't some kind of uh, scam that you had gotten. To oh do no, that. no, no. Oh well, here's the thing. I, I got the uh, North Face wrap at that time the early 90s. Right. North Face in the Southeast was distributed by a manufacturer's rep company and it was a guy's name like the Frank Jones company. Right. And this guy had North Face, he distributed North Face and and uh, he distributed Red Wing Shoes mm -hmm. and Boots, you yeah. know that brand. And I think he had some other brand, top brands. And he had the Southeast. He's the one that distributed North Face. And he would send his guys out to the different stores. This is even before REI opened, and and well, a lot of these stores didn't exist after REI opened. And, you know, you, you had a lot of them around town until REI opened, and so they would go out and dis demonstrate Gore-Tex and sh show people yeah. actual samples of Gore-Tex and three ply, four ply, all that, uh, uh, two layer and three layer, yeah, and, and one layer, and um, and so forth. So. I, I met one of these guys doing it, and uh, I bought some stuff off of him. I bought a uh, a Bigfoot, minus five degree yeah. bag. Yeah, yeah. I bought a Bigfoot from him and some other stuff, and uh, got to know him. And he was coming up with North Face stuff that was heavily discounted, heavily discounted. At the time, North Face was having in their clothing of this era. North Face was having a quality control problem, big time in their clothing. That's when they already stepped up and started mass producing. Big time. I have actually, I got a jacket from him one time, a Mountain Light jacket. That uh, a Mountain Light three, up eventually three thirty-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what they cost now. You know, it's like I had a Denali jacket in there. Too. Yeah, yeah. Denali's are awesome. Uh huh. Yeah. The, yeah. the reason I'm asking you about this, what's uh, the guy's name that you talked to? Uh, uh, Walter. Guy, 
what's his last name? Goddard? Goddard. Uh -huh. Walter Goddard. Uh -huh. He used to work with him at a chemical outfit or something, chemical plant. Um, I gave, him, the some, one, I gave the, him some stuff. Is that the chem plant you were talking yeah. about? That's where you That's met right. him at? Okay. Um, he had made mention that you had some sort of scam with REI, you know, when we talked to him. And like I said, we're not here to prosecute you. Oh, no, shit no. Like that. You know what I mean? No, no, what I did. <laughs> we're, 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 trying to, we're trying to figure out how, you know, yeah. how all this came to be. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, with the REI, I'll go over that now, but with the uh, North Face stuff, mm -hmm. he would come up with this stuff. And I, I have a feeling that it was returns. Because I got a uh, mountain light jacket from him one time. You know, they have the North Face label right inside there. Right. right on top. You know, right. Uh, the North Face with the cascade. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no, it was it was sewn in upside down. Oh. Uh, wow. The North Face la the label was sewn in upside down. So, like, showroom rejects or something like that? that I have a feeling that's what it was. What's that guy's name? That, that you... This is over over 10 years ago. Well, I mean, you had some, you had some new, nice yeah, stuff. New model. Oh, no, the, uh, no, no, no. Mountain Light. No. Green one. No. What about the jackets? All, all that stuff was, is, is going on 15 years old. The when jackets you, and stuff? Or? Yes. I don't wear it that much. No. Oh, okay. The good ones. Okay. Uh, no, if you got a, if you got plenty of it, uh, it doesn't wear. Right. Oh, I don't have a piece of equipment except for socks. I don't have it in water bottles. I don't have a single piece of equipment that's newer than 13 years. Nothing. No clothing. Nothing. And that's so what, what did you have? I'm telling you, that stuff lasts forever. The thing that that'll kill it faster than anything is done. Now, all of my microfiber pants. Mm -hmm. The newest any of those are is uh, 94, and some go back to 90. Mm -hmm. But I had I had plenty of pairs of them. Mm -hmm. uh, the shirts, the Sonoma shirts. Again, I don't I don't have a I don't have a single piece of equipment. None. I don't have a single piece of equipment or clothing. John Tabor gave me a Columbia Red Columbia pullover. Mm -hmm. That's that's newer. He gave that to me. Mm -hmm. I don't have a single piece of clothing or equipment that's newer than 1994. The, that red North Face jacket and that blue North Face jacket, they look, not, not, they look brand new. Yeah, the green yeah, hey, the green hey, hey, son, go, go get yourself some quality and you'll see. Uh -huh. Okay. But the thing is, I have other parkers too. Right. And, 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 and frankly, frankly, uh, most of the years I had those, I, I tended to save those for town use rather than field use. You know what I mean? And there's two reasons for that. Is is of course it has the cachet, the stratospheric prices. Uh, you know, with the logo, yuppies love that. You see them walking around with their Denali. So a Denali jacket. Never been in the woods, I think. That, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And another reason, though, is that even though it's worth it, uh, your North Face Mountain Light jackets will be almost a full half pound heavier than a, uh, an REI. Right. Switchback Parker, for yeah. instance, okay. They're they, three ply, I think, and then, then aren't the, uh, aren't the mountain no, they're, three ply? No, no, uh, no, you, these are called layers, and no. Uh, you, you've got one layer, two layer, and three layer, okay. One layer is where the Gore-Tex is bonded right to the outer nylon. Mm -hmm. It may be lined, and it usually is, but it's called one layer. Okay, two layer is where the Gore-Tex is not bonded to the outer one. So you have one, two, and then you have a net inside of it, which is a third layer. It's not counted as a layer. That's two layer. Okay, three layer is where you have the outer fabric, the Gore-Tex not bonded to it, and then lined with a tap of the top lining. That three layer. Mm -hmm. So actually, two layer has three layers, but the net, the net mesh. It's not counted as a layer, okay? One layer has two layers, but the lining is not counted. Right. And the, one of the significant... It doesn't supply any, like, water protection, correct? Is that the reason why it's not counted, or...? What? It's not, it doesn't have any, like, it's not waterproof? Yes, it is. It's just bonded directly to the... Oh, 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 I see yeah. that. 
I, I don't know why, but that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Uh, you know, it's, that's the that's the construction uh, of them. In other words, bonded directly to the outer fiber, one layer, not just suspended, more or less, uh, two layer, regardless of whether you have a, a net mesh or, or not. And then if you have a full lining inside of it, a cloth lining of a taffeta type, mm -hmm. uh, silky type, usually polyester, polyester taffeta, that's three layer. Okay. Uh, but anyway, to make a long story short, uh, another reason I didn't uh, feel to use my uh, mountain lights very much is that uh, you'll find an REI parka, uh, you'll find a highly technical REI parka, which is, I think it's called a switchback. It's got full zips here, it's got a detachable hood, beautiful thing. Weigh it. Weigh it. You'll, you'll find that it weighs uh, uh, about 15 or 14 ounces. Weigh the mountain light. It's a pound and a half. <laughs> now, you get, it's worth it. It's worth it uh, uh, for expeditionary use. Okay, it, right, it, it, short it, term. it is, but just for like a day hike yeah. and you know, very little of my stuff is, is really multi-day trips. It's mostly power hiking on day hikes. I don't like to carry backpacking loads. I told you, they're yeah. just injurious. You, you, you injure yourself. Injuries and oh yeah, you right. mess yourself up, man. You do. You get big toes out of joint, knees, and so that's really the thing. It's just a half a pound is significant. Backpackers have a saying, ounces count. Well, that's not quite true. But quarter pounds and half pounds, they start counting. Ounces don't count. Ounces don't count in that you can carry 16 things that weigh an ounce that you don't really need, and it's only a pound, 16 of them. But if it's something weighs a quarter pound and you start carrying a bunch of that that you don't need, it adds up yeah. real quick. So, in other words, my 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 philosophy is if someone something only weighs an ounce, you really need it, and it's subject to loss. Yep. Carry two of them. The only reason I ask about that is, like I said, Goddard. Had, oh no, you know, I was we interviewed him. He talked. He talked about the fact that you had some kind of scam going with REI. No, or he was like mistaken that. that with the, uh, the North Face rep. Okay. Uh, but no, but but then starting in uh, early nineties, mm -hmm. I wanted to be a guide and an outfitter. Mm -hmm. In other words, have in the, words, not so much a guide but a backpacking school. Right teaching people equipment and materials mm -hmm. and technical walking. Right. Along with that, I'm, I, I've got a technical walking system just I, like I have a stick fighting. Right. And really teaching them that rather than guiding them per se. Right. And outfitting them with the good stuff. Right. Okay. And so I, I bought out a hiking club or a guy that said he had a hiking club. It had been in storage. He said it was an industry sponsored hiking club. This was in the early 90s that didn't go nowhere and he said it's really because he didn't put any time and it was supposed to be to educate people in the equipment and create demand. Right. Okay. So I bought that out and I just bought a lot of stuff on my own too. Right. For me also. And uh, I used both medium and large also. So I had to come up with some small and uh, I, I had extra backpacks too. Also, which I just threw away. I actually had those. I just threw them away when I uh, left Tabor's. Goddard also said uh, that you had a telemarketing thing that uh, primarily you 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 liked talking with hairdressers about. Is that no, no? Back in the days when I was running uh, my fraud, unlawful charity. Right. And by the way, that's what I fell on in '95. Right. It was a charge of unlawful thera therapy uh, and also a, a theft charge that wasn't related to that at all. I started working for this book display company and became disgruntled and stole the stock. But I considered it a, a credit issue rather than a theft issue, but hey, it wasn't seen that way. But anyway, I took my fall on uh, the unlawful charity in 95. I had actually quit it in 90, 93. They got a grand jury in 94. January of 94, when uh, Cobb County Grand Jury got 19 complainants and 23 counts. Total damage, $540, okay, which I did on restitution. Yeah, it was $5 and $10, okay. But by, by an unlawful charity, any count is a felony. Right. Okay. At that time, they got the indictment, and they set a 25, the Superior Court set a $25,000 bond on me. That went January of 94. And then April of 95, I was arrested on that warrant. Took my ball, pled it out, 
five years probation, restitution of 540, pled to theft by theft charge out, restitution $5,600. Concurrent five-year probation, did the restitution and did the probation.